Oi, hola. There is a Kiswahili proverb which says, Kutembea kwenge ndiko kuona mengi. So it literally means in English that when you walk or you, you make adventures for far places, that is when you get to learn more. So in this case, I got to learn about a fruit that we want to cook with you guys today. Thank you for clicking this video. This is the other side of a modest. Kindly subscribe and give me a like. Let's get started. I got you. I see you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting this small channel. I'm on the road to 1000 subscribers. So guys, my birthday is on 1st January. Kindly give me a gift of 1000 subscribers. That is my prayer right now. So if you are new on this channel, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe and kindly give this video a thumbs up and put your post notifications on so that anytime I get to put another video on this channel, you are going to watch it. So here we talk about lifestyle, we talk about inspirational videos uh, as in we motivate our life day to day journey of life and journey of faith so another thing i do is mostly hair care what do you say about my hair this is my natural virgin hair i also do videos on the same again uh, i do some cookings some 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 but i'm not a pro another thing is i want to start talking about business because i'm an upcoming business woman another thing is that a little bit of relationship can do that for me that is what you learn on this channel and uh, uh, you can follow me on instagram i'll be leaving my handles before this video and so kindly watch this video before the end before that, as you can see the title of the video, I say let's cook this uh, unique fruit or do I say a potato or what? Uh, somebody introduced to me this fruit recently and I was like, what is this? I've never seen it by the way. I've never seen it by the way. It looks like it comes from the pumpkin family. It looks like it comes from the potato family in the let's let's just get into it and before that i just want to share what i learned from my devotion today i i i, I normally read the bible in the morning so that i can get motivated during the day or when i don't make it in the morning probably during the day i ensure that i read a verse and so today I'm going to share with you what I read. I read from the book of John chapter 15 verse 5 to 7. But I'm just going to highlight on verse 7 so that you can go straight away to the next topic. But guys remember the word of God is our strength. It is our light. So ensure you read the word of God every day. I was not a good reader of the word of God but it came a moment that I couldn't pray. And I find out that actually the Bible is very important. So, John 15, 7, it says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, then you will ask for anything you wish and you shall have it. This is a promise and this is a declaration that God is giving to us. That if we remain in him and his words into us, that means that he is giving us commandments or instructions to follow so that he can do whatsoever we want him to do. God needs a intimate relationship with us. So it's very important guys that we move closer to God each and every day so that whatsoever thing we face and do, God can be able to move into our situations and uh, mm, help us and intervene and fight our battles. If you're watching this video and everything is not good, on your side maybe you're going through a tough time you're going through things you cannot explain to anybody sis I got you bro I got you mom I got you dad I got you this has got you this has got you covered and you are very very important just hang in there 
remind God of his promises and if you feel like your faith is too low turn on that gospel music listen to music meditate on the word of God and his word will help you gain that faith back there is nothing nothing impossible for God to do that is what he tells us in Locke that nothing is impossible for him what is impossible for God to do if it is being heartbroken he he binds up our wounds and heals the broken heart so guys this is the fruit that i'm talking about i've just done with the cover or i've just done the kutua cover yaju and then after separating it into two it looks like being then cut into small pieces it's kind of sticky on your hands that that is why i used a poly pen so i i was told i should cook for some time before adding some bananas because i'm to um taking this with bananas i've just done some seasoning and i'm adding some little water It cooked for a long, sorry, around 15 minutes, and then I added my bananas, and I can, I feel like it is so sweet, and the final results just came out. Guess what? It just tastes like, uh, like Irish potatoes. If you've eaten this food kindly, let's have a comment. I need to take water and some drugs. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Bye-bye.